to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name is Lauren. This is going to be a work week of my life. I do this every so often. My job is kind of, I work at a desk all day in an office. I don't work from home. So sometimes it's hard for me to capture work week of my life because it's also hard to film in an office setting. But we're going to do a work week of my life this week. I work in wealth management if you're new. I just transitioned into a new position. I work, I used to work on the life insurance side and doing life insurance applications and things like that and service work. And now I do the investment side. Um, this is new, I just <laughs> transitioned into this position within the past month. So still really new i'm still learning um it's a lot to kind of take on a lot of responsibility and a lot to learn so i'm excited i eventually wanted to get here just didn't expect it to happen so quickly so if you would have told me a year ago that this is what i'd be doing for work i don't know if i would have believed you never saw myself doing this never ever saw this as my path so life has just a very funny way of working out but that's what i do for work monday through friday office i wish i had a hybrid style or at least one work from home day but i don't um i'm gonna head to work i wanted to share my outfit i just got this sweater off amazon and people say it's a jenny kane dupe i don't have a jenny kane sweater because they are very pricey. The reviews said that it's pretty similar. Can't speak on that for myself because I, like I said, I don't own one. I got it in this navy blue color and I also got it in black and red because I thought it'd be perfect for work. Wearing it with high-waisted pants from Zara and this cuts tee. You'll probably see me wearing the black sweater sometime this week too. It's just such a great sweater and it's a decent price i think it's like 35 to 40 dollars on amazon definitely recommend for work and you can dress it down wear it at home if you work from home with like leggings and like a tank top or whatever this is the outfit i'm gonna wear flats i've been wearing flats to work for since i started working for four years and it's so funny how they are like back in style if you guys worked in an office, didn't you? Did everyone wear flats? I feel like I've always worn flats to work. And it's just funny how they're like in style again. I don't know. Mine aren't cute. They're from like Old Navy, so I don't really care about work shoes. But it's just funny because I've been wearing flats because they're like dressy, like heels, but they don't have a heel. And a lot of my other jobs, I've been like walking around all day. So I've always worn like flats because my toes are covered. Mules can sometimes look a little weird on my feet but i wanted something like dressy but without the heel so that's why i've always worn flats but i do need to invest in like more work shoes because i kind of just wear like the same three pairs of flats every week so i just wanted to quickly start off the vlog and welcome you back to another video make sure you're subscribed i'm gonna head to the office <laughs>
soap tanners coming off of my neck. I just got home from work. It was actually a pretty good work day. It was busy, but not like overwhelmingly busy, which is always very nice. So I'm grateful for that for a Monday. Can't complain. I think I think my camera, okay, I think it's straight now. I'm about to go work out. I do the form workouts by Sammy Clark. I sound like a broken record, but I've been truly doing her workouts kind of on and off. I've definitely switched around, but I always go back to hers. I've been doing her workouts since COVID 2020. She used to do live workouts, like live stream workouts on her Instagram page. And over the years she evolved into form and created an app and did videos, does weekly schedules, has recipes, so many things on the app and it's a subscription service. And I just go down to my apartment gym, use the treadmill and then I come back up and I can use free weights, bands, I have like ankle weights. I do the workouts at home and it's basically like paying for a gym membership and it's all guided. It's kind of like going to a workout class. It's someone doing the workouts with you. She's very motivating. I just love her energy, her workouts. So I always just go back to them. Um, and she recently, I think over the past couple of months, incorporated more Pilates workouts too. So she has strictly strength workouts and then she has strictly Pilates. And then she also has the Pilates and strength weekly schedules. So each week she releases weekly schedules depending on the program that you want to do. This sounds sponsored, but it's really not truly have always enjoyed her workouts. This is basically what it looks like. So up here it's the Pilates and strength, which is the one that I do, but it also has Pilates and then just strength. And then when you click them, it just gives you the workouts for the day. So today is more Pilates focused and it's the 10 minute lower body chair Pilates and then the 10 minute lower body standing Pilates. So I'm gonna go on the treadmill, do 12, 330. I kind of, I don't do 12, 330 every day, but I do walk every day or five times a week or try four to five times a week. So I like to get some type of walking movement in because I don't really have that luxury at my job. So I used to have that luxury. I used to be walking around all day, like moving furniture. If you guys have been with me since I had my job where I moved furniture, <laughs> you are an OG subscriber. That was such a crazy job. Like looking back, I can't even believe that I used to move huge desks across an office space into another office truly is crazy i used to literally get a whole workout in while i was at work it was so crazy <laughs> was so crazy looking back on that but um anyways i'm gonna throw on a sweatshirt and some biker shorts and we're gonna head to the gym <laughs> It's 6.30 now to drop Christian off at the airport. If you're new, Christian is, I hate saying the word, fiance. And it's nothing like against it. It just sounds like really pretentious to me. And I've literally called him my boyfriend for five and a half years. And just to like transition into fiance, it just sounds so pretentious i don't know why nothing against it i don't know i don't know it's weird uh christian and i just recently got engaged in august so i dropped christian off at the airport and he actually is on a work trip right now it's an incentive trip in seattle so this has been the year of travel for sure we've both traveled so much this year 
especially him now. We were talking about it in the car this morning and he's truly traveled literally everywhere this year. We've gone out of the country twice, both of us. He's been to Arizona twice, Seattle. He went on a cruise to the Bahamas with work. He was just really like traveled this year. So I dropped him off, he's excited, but we did just get back from Italy like three weeks ago now. That's my alarm. Um, we got back three weeks ago and we just took a nine hour flight home. So it was like seven and a half hours there and like almost nine hours back. His flight is six and a half hours. And then you have to like sit on the plane for a little bit. So I'll be on the plane for like a total of basically the same amount of time as we were when we were going to Italy, which is so funny. So he's like kind of dreading the flight, but he's never been to Seattle. So I'm excited for him. I saw his itinerary and it looks like they're going to see a bunch of cool different distilleries and places. He does liquor sales, by the way. I'm just dampening my face before I put on the road glazing fluid. I'm just doing skincare. I do really light makeup during the work week because I tend to wear heavier makeup on the weekends and since I work in an office every day and I mainly wear makeup on the weekends, I don't really give my skin the proper break so that's why I go a little bit lighter throughout the work week. I've been wearing this probably for three years now but I use the Merit Foundation Concealer Stick in the color Dune. And I've been using this for so long. And then I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury little powder. This is like a five minute makeup. I'm gonna take the Luxe Unfiltered two um, Beauty Balms. This color is in Tropics. I love these. And I'm gonna take the um, little brush that she has blend this out and this like just provides a little bit of color to the face which I love but this makeup like takes me literally like no time which I prefer I don't like to spend a lot of time getting ready in the morning or putting on makeup so it's like literally takes me five minutes I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelids and then I'm gonna go in with the beauty balm in sunset it's so pretty I'm gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in shade two. Then I go in with mascara. This is just the Lancome Monosaur. Lastly, just Morphe eyebrow pencil that's almost out. I have a refill. And then I'm ending with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Pumpkin Spice. I brought this back out for this year. I put it away. That is my five minute quick and easy work makeup. And I'm going to put together my breakfast, lunch, my snack, a breakfast and lunch and snacks at the office. I ate the majority of my meals there. And figure out an outfit to wear for the day. Here is my outfit of the day. I don't think this sweater is still available. I think I got it at the beginning of 2022 from Misguided. I don't even know if Misguided is even still around. I honestly haven't shopped there in a while. Um, I know that there was like a whole shutdown. I don't know what happened, but it's like a fuzzy little button up sweater. It is cropped, but I tucked it up into, I'm wearing like a long line little tank underneath and I tucked it up into the tank, but it looks like this. So that's what I'm wearing and then pants are from Zara. So all my pants are from Zara. I just wear the same, basically the same pair of pants every single day, just in a different color. It's just really easy and they're super flattering. So I love them. I just got home from work. I'm about to work out. I put on the same sweatshirt that I wore to bed. I'm gonna go get on the treadmill and just walk. I'm washing my hair today, so I wanted to share what I do when I wash my hair. I oil my scalp to help with growth. I've talked about this actually recently, a couple of vlogs ago. I'm like kind of concerned about 
thinning right here. I have some thin hair throughout here, so I've really been trying to focus on hair growth throughout there. So I'm using this GoLab Beauty Strengthening Scalp Massage Oil. I just, I ordered one on Amazon, a new one, not of this brand, but like a cheaper $7 brand that I've seen circle around. It has like green packaging-ish on it, but that one got lost, so I got refunded, and I need to go to Ulta to pick it up because I saw that it was carried there, so I need to go, I'll probably go sometime this week because I still have some oil left in this. I didn't really notice a difference with this product and it was like $35 but I didn't consistently use it enough to know if it actually did something so that's on me but I'm really trying to focus on and prioritize putting this in to see if it actually makes a difference so I'm gonna oil my scalp a little bit before I get on the treadmill and work out because I will be washing my hair tonight so I want to make sure that I put this in I'm just gonna put like a little bit throughout if I slicked my hair back today, I probably would have used this when slicking my hair back, but I didn't end up doing that today. So I'm going to put this in, then get on the treadmill, come up, do a form workout. I'm going to cook dinner. I'm cooking a sheet pan dinner. These are so easy to do. I think I did one in my last workbook of my life, but they're just so easy, especially if you like leftovers, but I'll share that later when I cook it. Just got done with my workout and I'm about to prep dinner and throw it in the oven and then get in the shower because it takes about 35 to 45 minutes. I kind of check it every so often and then I kind of broil it in the end to get it a little bit more brown. So basically this recipe is broccoli, zucchini, red pepper, sweet potato, red onion, and then this mild chicken sausage. And I'm gonna put it on the pan, just need to prep all the veggies. And then I'm gonna do a hummus style dressing on top and it will be really yummy and this will give me leftovers for probably tomorrow night's dinner and the next night and then Friday Christian comes back so we'll probably go to dinner when I pick him up from the airport so this will give me a lot of leftovers and I'm gonna cook it on 375 Okay, just pulled dinner out of the oven. This is what it looks like. I am editing a vlog, about to sit down and eat and edit, and I made the sauce to go over this bowl. It's just the Ithaca hummus, a quarter lemon. I would use fresh garlic. I only had garlic powder, and then I used avocado oil and not olive oil, because that's all I have. Just gonna drizzle it on top. And that's dinner. Just got home from work. I know I haven't talked to the camera at all today. I ended up having to rush out the door because my two friends are out of town and I'm checking in on their cat while they're gone. And she unplugged her food, her automatic food container. So I rushed over there because it's about 10 minutes in the opposite direction from my office. So I wanted to make sure I can get there before work. So I went over there really quickly this morning and then drove into the office. So I didn't have time to really talk to the camera, but I just changed for the gym and I came home to a Princess Polly package. I'm working with them I think in my next video, I'm like kind of behind on editing videos right now. I don't know if it's going to be up before this work week of my life or after, but if it's up already, I will link it down below. And if it's not, 
stay tuned because I will be filming the try on haul this weekend and I got so many good pieces for fall. Stay tuned for this. I'm gonna head down to the gym. Thank you. Okay, I just pulled up to work. I'm in the garage. I got here a little bit early because I left earlier just in case Starbucks had a long line. But I wasn't feeling really well yesterday and this morning I decided to get up and just work out and it probably wasn't the best decision. I probably should have just rested and I need to be better about that truly um, with just resting. But I treated myself to Starbucks and got a honey citrus mint tea with no lemonade so i got that also treated myself to some red pepper egg white bites from starbucks i never get starbucks i never eat out during the week really so <laughs> getting breakfast and a tea is such a nice little treat for me this morning so i'm gonna eat this in my car before i head in because i have about 15 minutes before i have to go inside and get to work just got home from work and opened up some packages. I got more beans. This is where I get my beans from for my espresso machine by La Colombe. I recently switched to this blend and I've been really liking it. It's my second box. So I got more of that and then also got some more stuff from 1UP Nutrition. I got my favorite protein powder. Have this mixed with my coffee every single workday, Monday through Friday. So I get it in the salted caramel flavor. It's my favorite. And then I got more protein bars. Christian really likes these. We haven't tried the s'mores flavor yet, but the last box that I got was the cookies and cream one. So we're trying this one out this time. So just wanted to share. It's Thursday, so I'm about to put on some self tanner and sit and this, I usually leave it on for about four hours. I've been using the Bally Body One Hour Express in dark for probably two years now. I used to use the Saint Tropez one, switch to this one, and I really, really love this one. So I use this. It does dry really quickly, so you kind of have to work quick and work in smaller sections on your body. So I really like this. I'll link it. It's my favorite and then I will rinse it off in the shower and then I'll sleep in the Lux Unfiltered Hydrating Self-Tanning Cream and this is the Gradual Self-Tanner. So I feel like it complements the Bally Body one really well and it gives such a nice color and tan. So that's my self-tanning routine. I'm a creature of habit so I haven't switched it up in a while. I've used these products for two years. I've used Lux Unfiltered for over two years, this exact product, and I've repurchased it a million times. So highly recommend, that's my self-tanning routine every week on Thursday. This is what I do, and then I sit and edit my YouTube video, whichever one I'm working on for four hours, and just get that stuff done and sit in my self-tanner because I don't like sleeping in it. So this is a great option because this doesn't discolor your sheets or anything and it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a self-tanning mousse if you know what I mean the feeling of having self-tanner on I just don't like sleeping in it so this is a great option if you don't like sleeping in your self-tanner highly recommend so I'll link both these products down below I'm about to marinate in this stuff for the next couple of hours morning it's Friday I'm wearing an outfit that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone because I feel a little bit casual but I don't know why I even googled our 
leather leggings office appropriate and i saw a bunch of articles that they are and i just think it's a little outside of my comfort zone because i've never done it before so i'm wearing my hair in a ponytail this sweater is from amazon it's the sweater that i was wearing earlier in the week i think monday in navy blue i'm wearing it in black and then i ordered a red one and it should be here tomorrow the quality is really good it's more of a heavier weight sweater but i really really like it and it's perfect for work for me at least for my office environment i don't have to wear like blazers every day or anything like that so if that's like your office environment this would be perfect for it i'm just wearing a black tank top underneath and then i'm wearing leather leggings from spanx i've actually never worn them before i got them last fall you can kind of see the fabric right there this is a little outfit feels a little bit casual but the sweater goes down over my butt and I'm wearing some flats. I woke up feeling a little bit sick again, like worse and a little bit congested and my throat is like dry. And I was like tossing and turning last night, coughing. So hopefully I get some good sleep tonight and I'll feel better by tomorrow. It's just a bummer. I feel like I'm in like the beginning stages and I keep like fighting it off, but it like then comes back again. I don't know, but I'm gonna head out the door. I didn't have to be to work at eight today. My boss is playing in a golf tournament yesterday and today, so he's like not really working. Um, he also plays golf like every Friday on the calendar. It's so funny. He has 12 to 5 blocked off every single Friday for golf. He doesn't always golf, but a majority of the time he's golfing and he's like in a great mood if he's golfing. <laughs> it's just funny. But he's playing in a golf tournament and he messaged us late last night and was like you guys don't have to come in at eight just come in at your normal time but we can still leave at four so i get to go to work at 8 30 and we don't have a friday 8 a.m meeting which is what we usually have every friday i have to go in at eight for like an hour hour and 15 long meeting and we like recap the week and then we go into next week and then go over any like pending things service work applications things like that and kind of get together collectively all as a group but we didn't have to do that today because he's out so probably gonna be a great work day just like catching up getting last minute things submitted and following up with a lot of our clients so hopefully a great day but it's already off to a great start because I didn't have to be in at eight for a meeting and I still get to leave at four so great Friday for me I'm gonna head out the door and head to work <laughs> Okay, my camera battery light is flashing at me, but I just got home from work, picked up Christian from the airport, we went to dinner, then I dropped him off and went to go check on my friend's cat while she's been out of town for a little bit. And now I'm home and I wanted to quickly end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this work week of my life. I'm gonna be vlogging this weekend, so stay tuned for that, exciting things. And I mean, I guess it's exciting, it's wedding stuff, but yeah, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.